it probably only lets you. I think this only lets you record two minutes at a time. Let's try Zoom. Ooh, okay. So, all right, Josh. So, what just happened? Uh so you <laughs> uh, showed me the results for the packs that you scanned for me, but uh, uh, we tried recording the video and uh, we had some technical difficulties. Only I had audio, so we have all this video of Josh being surprised. So we're going to do this entirely again, and Josh is going to pretend to be surprised. So, hi, Josh. Josh, you are not a dentist. You are a hopeful dental student. We said that the first time. Yes, correct. So I, and, I'm, I'm Josh. I'm a collector. I live in North Carolina. Um, I'm not a card store owner. I don't own uh, a million base set booster boxes and I don't own any first edition packs. Um, I just watched Aaron's uh, video like every other collector did mind blown and um, sent him an email asking if he would scan uh, my personal packs for me. And I had three base set heavy packs that I was 99.9% .9 sure had hollows. because they were You just said 90 really the heavy. first time. Yes. Now we're 90. Now we're a hundred percent sure because well, we just looked. Yeah. Now we're a hundred percent sure because he scanned them and we got the results back. So okay, so yeah, um, and I said the first time, and we're saying it again. Maybe I'll stop saying that, but uh, the first time I said, "Wow," uh, I actually agreed to do it because you said you're a collector and that you would agree not to. You would like sign something that says, "I'm just doing this for myself and I'm not going to flip the card." So. Uh, that's one of the reasons I agreed, and he's the first one who I agreed to do this for, who actually I did it for. Uh, let's move on. And if it looks like we aren't surprised, again, it's because we're not. We just did this like 20 minutes ago. So <laughs> Josh I'm knows gonna... what's in these packs. We're going to like maybe pretend or maybe we won't, but it's still kind of fun. Um, but you're not going to get the reaction of him going, wow, oh, that's so cool. Oh my okay. gosh! I'm oh my so goodness! Gobsmacked. Yeah, I'm so gobsmacked. Um, I hope the recording is working for my screen. Okay, I gotta share my screen. The first time I forgot to share the screen. This time we're gonna do it on purpose. All right, we're there sharing the screen. This time Zoom is. If it works a second, a, a fails a third time, then we're just. <clears throat> uh, all right. So, Josh sent me uh, a bunch of stuff. He's a great packager. We did this already the first time. Look at all this packaging. Look how amazing this is. Everybody loves Josh's packaging. And he put stuff with security stickers, which is such a great idea. You don't have to explain it again, but look at this signature. Wow, it's such but, a great idea. But we did we did say that it, it did kind of interfere with your scan. So in cool. retrospect, it'd be better to put the um security strip on the top or out of the way so that you can actually still it's not as hard for you to see what's in the pack right and maybe this is obvious for some people but i really like this just because uh you can clearly you you know it's that it's your packs that you're getting back. so i like that and uh there's what it looks like in the machine so Josh sent me a bunch of stuff but the ones that i really focused on were the uh the base set packs because they were uh very heavy so he was 99.99. He was very sure that there was something in them. So we got a Venusaur, a Blastoise, and a Charizard pack. And Josh, which one do you look at first? Um, let's look at the Charizard pack first. Why not? That's what we did the first time. So <laughs> it's really hard to pretend to be surprised. Uh, but uh there it is. This is what it looks like from the side. So you can see from the side, yeah, we've got 11 cards. Josh made a comment about, wow, you can you know, see not just that there are 11 cards, but like what they're made out of. Isn't that cool? Well, yeah, you can see the each layer of each card. So you can see the top foil layer, the card stock in the middle, the black layer, and then the back. So, I mean, it's essentially, you know, three layers of, of a card. You can actually see each layer, which is cool. Right. It is cool. I agree with that, Josh. And then the foil is actually right here. So it's just a little, little bit of extra thickness. Josh, lean in like it's the first time you're seeing it. It is really, it's, wow, look how little bit of extra thickness. Um, yeah. And as, yeah. So there it is. Uh, let's play the, <coughs> let's play the game. So first we're going to look at it. This is what we did. Um, dang it. I just showed you the flat version. So for That's the first okay. one, we're just going to, 
what is that, Josh? What do you think that is? What did you think it was the first time? Um, I think I said like a fairy or something, or I just or Gyarados. I had no idea. Oh, it was a it was the Venusaur pack that you thought was a Gyarados. Yeah, but this it's not a Gyarados. Zero idea. But uh, yeah, just so we have the the evolution symbols right up here. So this is actually mm -hmm. flattened. Uh, we we kind of played the game. We first did it unflattened, then we flattened it. And uh, I'm happy to say that Josh did not get it right uh, on any of them until we mm -hmm. flattened it. But then he got it all right. So, uh, but there's an evolution symbol, mm -hmm. and we'll just look at it with the reveal and josh did get this one he said it was an alakazam it's an alakazam so you got yeah. the pointy pointy ears that's pretty neat oh don't let that be a spoiler we got an alakazam you got the pointy pointy ears mm -hmm. you got the pointy pointy ears uh i was gonna try and measure the centering this was the only one i couldn't measure any centering on just because the scan was kind of a little bit messed up but we do have an Alakazam on the Charizard pack. So that's pretty neat. Anything to say, Josh? Yeah. Oh, um, I think it's important to note that, you know, there it's not like extremely clear. Like I, I, there is still some work that has to be done and some guesswork. Like you have to know what you're kind of looking at to like, to the average person. I think if you just pointed, you know, what is what is this? They'd be like, I have no idea what this is or, you know, so again, you kind of do have to know what you're looking for to be able to identify what card it is. Right, absolutely. I very much agree with that. I've stared at these a long time, and it also helps to know where you're looking for. So I generally uh, scan like a corner, um, and this is the top left corner. So this is what it looks like before it's been like fully flattened. And you can probably, if you're staring at this long enough, you can see like regular shapes. Like, I see straight lines, I see that evolution symbol first, and like I said in the video, all of a sudden I usually know what it is, but it very much helps to flatten it, especially for low contrast cases. But even in this case, you can start to see maybe the, the shadows or, you know, of his ears or whatever. So then that's the unflattened image. Right, it hasn't been flattened yet. I could not guess what the card that would be whatsoever. So that, that's what's kind of fun is like, we'll play the, at least for the next one, We'll play the Who's That Pokemon game with the unflattened first. Uh, if you want to, you know, in the comments, make a guess. Feel free, assuming that we have audio and video and we don't do this a third time. <laughs> it is really disappointing that we don't have the legitimate reactions. Because it was cool to be, to, you know, like I knew, I figured it out for myself and then I showed him. And it was cool, like, because he's the owner of these cards, to be able to reveal for himself. Right, so now... Yeah, we've got the Blastoise pack. I'll show you uh, something I didn't show you the first time is this is a 3D rendering of the pack itself. Oh, um, cool. And I actually put a little sticker on the outside of the pack so I didn't get them confused when I scanned right. them. So this is actually in the scan data. This is something you could do to like verify that it's your pack. You could put something like this on the inside of your, your protective sleeve and then you'd see the scan data and you'd know that it was actually your pack that was scanned. Fair. So there's that. And then I have the, from the side again, which is a gift this time, but you can kind of zoom in and you can see just a little bit of a uh, hollow like curling, which is really a clue for me. But if you didn't know what you were looking for, it would be very difficult um, if there was no warping to like see that extra little bit of thickness, especially for a bad scan. Like my scan is not that great. All right, so we forgot the not flat. I can't believe we're doing this again. Got the not flat. No idea. Again, I wouldn't know what I'm even looking at. I mean, you know what it is now. I know what it is now, but again, I even still knowing what it is now, I can't see it. So once more, I try to focus on, um, I look at the yellow border is pretty good. So this is one that I was able to do measurements on. Mm -hmm. um, I found the evolution symbol. So I always scan usually the top left one first, just because it eliminates the most possibilities. Uh, Cause that contains the evolution symbol. And if you see the evolution symbol right away, you kind of know you've, you've eliminated half the possibilities. So let's look at the flattened version again. If you are uh, able to see already, good job. So there's flat. And I think this time you were able to get it once it was flat. 
once I flashed it, you were like, ah, that's, that's what it is. I, I'm not sure if you made a guess or not. Do you remember what guess uh, you might have made? I think my original guess was Gyarados, and I was wrong. I think for the it was for the last one you guessed was a Okay, well, last, we'll the say, last we'll one say I guessed Gyarados. Magneton. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you guessed a Magneton for the last one. You were also hoping for a Raichu, which um, there's no Raichu on this one on in base that is there. There, there is a Raichu, but my my favorite Raichu is the fossil Raichu oh, okay. and the rocket Raichu. Okay, I still like the base set Raichu, but I, again, I wasn't really hoping for a Charizard per se or a particular card. It was, I'm just I I'm doing this for the love of science just to see what it's like and for nice. my own personal curiosity so again in anything that we find out is just fun for me sweet and because you wanted to get some good cards and you did get some good cards well, there's <laughs> the flattened gif and here's the reveal oh now you see what that is that's the venusaur that's a Venusaur. So we got one of the power three. I'm not sure if they're called that. Let me just uh the pull it up big there. three. Yeah. The big three. See, I um, thought that's why I thought it could be a, a Gyarados, because a Gyarados is a little close to it, to be honest. Something I'm gonna do, um, if you don't mind. I'm worried that we're not actually recording the screen. I'm gonna stop for a moment. So you can edit the video together, I'm sure. Okay. All right. So we're uh, back after a brief intermission. I was a little paranoid that we were not recording, but we are. So that's good. Screen. All right. So we had just finished the Venusaur reveal, right? So the Blastoise pack. Correct. Yes. Awesome. awesome. And we saw that it was indeed a Venusaur. So that's cool. And... Let me just go back to there real quick because I was able to measure, as we saw, I was able to measure the top to bottom centering on this one. Um, I'm doubled, so divide by two. That's like about 2.9 millimeters from the top, and they're three millimeters on all sides nominally. So not bad. And there's our Venusaur. And yeah, pretty much unmistakable for this one. Sometimes it's a little harder. But... Uh, Ah, you got a Venusaur. You got one of the power three. Woohoo! All right, one of the big three. All right, we're totally surprised. It's the first time we're seeing this, not the third. All right. I love your shocked face. It's so good. Oh, All man. right. One more. We got the Venusaur pack. This one, as you saw, I had to scan how many times? Three times. Three times. Three times. So the first time, it was corrupted. So I've got this long, corrupted gift. Um, and it's also rotated. If you can get this one right with my mouse, very good. Um, so this is actually rotated, but it's corrupted for reasons. Um, we've actually got like a straight lines here. So we're rotated like 90 degrees off. And I saw something, this little bony thing right here. And from this, I actually, my guess was correct. So I thought it was something, but... I was right, but really I ended good up. Guess. It was a pretty good guess. Yeah. Uh, what do you I think? Don't see, I don't see anything. Let's see this. I don't see. I don't see Dilly Squat. Oh man, it's well. We talked about this. But I, I spent. I've spent several years. It's. I have a new job that I'm taking. Actually, I'm moving on Monday, but um, I spent several years looking through data like this for a living. So that's part of it. Is I'm very tuned to CT data and. Getting rid of artifacts that annoys. Oh, it's a cat. You gotta have a cat on YouTube. That's true. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up your cat. What kind of cat is this? This is this is my orange cat named Simba. Timba? Simba. Like Simba. From Lion King. Oh. I saw that look of I don't want to be here, but I'm tolerating it. Well, he wants me to pet him, but he doesn't want to be on video. So. Okay. Well, my cat's okay. a little bit less uh, accommodating than that. So. Let's scan number one. I did a second scan. So instead of scanning the top left, I scanned the top right. And by I basically, design or by accident? I did it on purpose. I figured that as long as I'm going to scan a second side, I might as well scan um, something different. Because okay. like, then my tiny little bony whatever clue, maybe I can like combine them. 
I did want to ask, how long does it take for you to scan with your machine on average? Ballpark, or is that is that trademarked? Is uh, that it's not trademarked. Fair I'm, information. I'm being mum on that. It's not quick. It can okay. be quick if you have a good machine, and I have a lot of ideas for techniques, but I did say in the first video that this is kind of like the lame brute force method, and it really is, but it's okay. like, think in terms of hours to days more than minutes. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Right. So that's why I have one more chance. I'm gonna, I am going to scan. I'm doing a bonus for Josh just because he's so cool. I'm going to scan two more packs um, just to see what's in there. Uh, jo- uh, a... Um, the what's it called again the japanese uh the japanese team rocket pack is a guaranteed hollow oh it does it should oh, be a guaranteed I'm definitely hollow. gonna yeah. scan that okay sweet yeah, yeah oh great we'll do another little mini follow-up then and i'm gonna okay. scan one more gym challenge one one of the ones i'm just not even i'm just not even gonna look at it uh in the side i'm just okay. gonna throw it in there and and leave for the night uh because i'm hungry uh anyway this is the actually mirrored so this is the top right side but it's mirrored there's just like a tiny, like, I, I was so unlucky with this pack. I just, I see just a little tiny, stupid little bit of detail. It is consistent with my first guess, but just, there's not enough here, right? Not for me. I If you yeah. showed me that image, I could not make it out personally. On the other hand, though. And it's still even knowing what it is now. that I Right. Know. And even then, there's like just a tiny little stupid mm-hmm. amount of detail. But. At the very least, even though you don't see something, that does tell you something because you don't see something. So you know that, like, this is the right, right side. It's not a charge. Well, there's no there's no evolution box, so it's a one-stage evolution card. Right. And that's what I, what I kind of did is I went through the list of cards, and I, like, was like, okay, well, it can't be a Chansey because you would have seen this. It can't be a charge because you would have seen this. It can't be... Clefairy, because you would have seen this. And I went through that and I kind of narrowed it down to basically like a few skinny cards. Right. Right. And then I was maybe like, okay, a which... Raichu, maybe a Hitmonchan, maybe, maybe one a... of these guys. Yeah. All right. So, but either way, I ended up doing a third scan. I scanned that evolution side again, Venusaur 3. And this time we're just going to go straight to the reveal. And what do we have here? I thought it was a magneton, but you pointed out you can see it. It's it's hard to see, but that's the that's the Mewtwo hand right there. Yeah, that's the Mewtwo hand. And if you were paying attention, you saw I had that open. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's let's look at it like this. It helps when you kind of like zoom in and you can flip back and forth a little bit. Yeah, like, I yeah, can there's... see it now. Yeah, Mewtwo hand. Look at the ears. And that's it is, you know, this, with our eyes, we kind of like see general patterns, but if it's the right card, it matches perfect. Right. And so, yeah, uh, we got a Mewtwo on the third one. So I'd say you got some pretty good cards. Let's take a look at our measurements real quick. So I measured the second one. I was able to measure the right side and it's symmetrical. So you'd only have to really measure the left side and the top side or the right side and the bottom side. Um, but if we look at the second one, I was able to measure the right side. So we had a centering of, again, divided by two, 3.1 millimeters on the right. So that's pretty close to the solid of three. And then the top, we've got a little bit worse, but still pretty close within the 55, 45 range, uh, 3.3. That's 10%. Yep. That's, uh, percent. Of... yeah, that's in the 55, 45 range, just barely, um, from the top. I got some other measurements on there. These are the true measurements this time. So yeah, if this were, and we were just speculating, if this were like a PSA 10 graded gradable card, like the condition were good, and the only thing was the centering, then the centering would be perfect on this. And in the future, we're hoping like, you know, we'll be able to actually maybe guarantee a PSA graded cards. We'll be able to look at the whitening. We'll be able to look at like the level of contrast, find scratches. Maybe. Yeah. I, I will say there's there's definitely inherent value, even if someone doesn't want to know the exact card in their pack, there's inherent value in knowing that the card or the pack is genuine, that there's not, you know, G.I. Joe cards in it, or that it's um, not a resealed pack. Um, so I think that's that's inherently valuable. 
Um, and then another thing I did want to point out for anybody watching is like, I think there's some mis, uh, misinformation online because a lot of people are just guessing that they can go online, buy one of these machines for $2,000 and do this themselves. Like it, it, it took you, you have a lot of technical know-how to be able to do this, to get your own machine, to fix the machine. You work in this industry. So, you know, it's not like you just, you know, bought it, plugged it in, and now you're using it. Thanks, Josh, uh, for saying that and then for saying it a second time too. Yeah, well, <laughs> and these, again, these these machines are not normally $2,000. They're normally, no, no. you know, tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. I didn't mention this in the first video, but the machines that I bought when they were sold 20 years ago, they were a half a million dollars each. Correct. Exactly. So they they're, they're not budget. cheap. They're not cheap machines. Like the average Joe can't really do this at home. Um, yeah. Maybe uh, some entrepreneurial person can either me, I could do this as a service or somebody violating my patent probably could do it as a service. But um that's kind of what I want to do is like, this was kind of a test bed. It's, it, was, it ended up being a lot more work than I thought. Um, I like the rescans and, you know, making sure the data is good with a good machine and optimizing it. It's not as bad, but I like the idea of doing this and being able to like guarantee for collectors, people who actually care, being able to show them what's in there, what the condition is, that things are genuine. Yeah. And then the other thing I did want to say for anybody watching the video is Aaron, Aaron's a nice guy. Um, he's very genuine. Um, he's doing it for the love of the science and for the love of collecting. You know, he's um, he's not a giant um, money making, you know, you know, he's not he's not he's not trying to hurt the hobby. And he, I don't think he's has any malice intent from all the conversations that you and I have had. So um, go easy on him and uh, please don't please don't roast uh, roast us in the comments. So <laughs> thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. And, and thanks again for not just doing this one time, but. We went through this a second time and I really do wish the first time could have been properly recorded because it was cool to see Josh's like genuine reaction, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, I hope you had a good time. Yeah, it wasn't quite like that, but it's, again, so. it's still cool to see it a second time. And yeah. um, thanks again for 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 doing this for me and for scanning my packs and um, feel free to yeah. reach out to Aaron if if you want to know more about what he's doing so yeah and uh now that you know that uh now that i know that there's a guaranteed hollow in the japanese pack um we definitely can do a follow-up once i find out what that is all right yeah i'm down um all right. i'm definitely down so all right well thank you and uh we'll see you next time all right bye thanks bye. dude